Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a review of the EDC Pump and Toolkit by 1UP Components. Is this the last uh, toolkit combo that you'll ever need to buy? Find out in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers and if you're new to the channel, if you're into things like bike touring, bike packing, and gravel riding, and really innovative bicycle products, be sure to subscribe. This channel is for you. If you're not familiar with the EDC Pump and Toolkit by 1UP Components, they're actually two separate items that you have to buy uh, individually, but they combine together like Voltron to form what they promise to be the ultimate toolkit for a cyclist. It's actually a pretty clever trick. The EDC Toolkit slips into the center column of the handle of the pump. On our scales, the combination weighed in at about 270 grams, so it does have a fair amount of heft to it. Looking at the pump first, it's nice and hefty it's got this really nice textured uh, aluminum body it's one of the few pumps that will make a lasagne pump feel cheap it's just really sturdy and nice in the hand and works really well as a pump there are a couple of downsides it is pressed to valve only so if you happen to have a bike with uh, a Schrader valve then you're kind of out of luck although I didn't use it this way the valve head itself does uh, unscrew and you can use it as a co2 inflator and use the pump works really well. Uh, it'll grip the head of a pressive valve fairly tightly. And uh, I found in my experience, I was able to get a 700 by 40 millimeter tire up to about uh, 35 PSI in about 96 to 100 strokes. So pretty good, better than a lot of small mini pumps. But what I did find with the pump is that it's definitely a low pressure, high volume pump. It's great for filling up the tire, but once you hit about that 35 PSI to 40 PSI mark, the pump head actually has kind of a tough time uh, grasping onto the valve stem. I found I really had to hold it onto the valve stem to keep it from blowing off. So I think in terms of the pump, my big likes are its strong durable build, its high volume pumping capacity, and the fact that it can carry a multi-tool inside. In terms of cons, it is press the valve only, and it is kind of limited to the kind of tire pressures you can pump a tire up to. But if you can live within those constraints, it's actually a pretty awesome pump on its own, but it does get even cooler when you combine it with the 1UP EDC tool. So let's look at the tool. This EDC tool is uh, designed to be stored in two ways. Uh, one way, which I'm going to talk about in this video, obviously, is inside the pump. You can also store it within the steerer tube of your bike, but you need a special kit to replace the star fangled nut and all that stuff. I'm not going to get into that. To take the tool out, there is a nice plastic lip that you can use to just pull it out of the pump. And to get the multi-tool out, you just simply kind of bend it in your hand and you'll see the lip give and it'll release uh, what is the tire lever and the tool kit. So the toolkit has a lot of the basic tools that you would expect, but also a couple of extra ones. Uh, there is a chain breaker. On the tire lever, there is a space to actually hold a spare quick link. On the multi-tool itself, it has, I think, a two, two and a half, three, four, uh, five, and eight millimeter uh, hex keys. And you form the eight by combining the five and this funky uh, looking thing next to it. And that funky thing uh, is supposed to do a lot more. It's uh, actually one of the reasons why I reached out to 1UP to kind of re review this tool. Supposedly you can use it as a quick link removal tool. And that's what I initially really wanted to uh, try out on this tool. But I'll jump into that uh, a little bit later. The ADC tool also comes with this cool kind of storage cache that screws in on the bottom. You can replace it with a CO2 cartridge, but I find I actually like using the storage cache. And what I put in there is some flat tire repair stuff. So patches, glue, and sandpaper. So that's it for kind of the features overview of the toolkit. I'm going to go into the things I like and dislike about the EDC tool. The first big like is the very clever design. It is really cool how it snaps into place and how that the tool itself can slip inside a pump. Uh, so pretty, pretty cool pretty slick. Another second big like are the wrenches themselves are nicely machined. I've been using them over the last couple of weeks, tightening bolts on uh, the bike, changing stems and tight tightening headsets and what have you. And uh, they all work really well. Another thing I really like is actually the storage uh, cache. Usually I carry my patch kit in a separate bag and it's nice to have it all uh, self-contained with the pump and the tool kit. So that is one really cool feature I didn't think would be such an awesome benefit when I first got the tool, but I'm really digging that part. And finally, the last big like is, like the name suggests, it is an everyday carry tool. And because everything is together in one package, uh, it's really easy to just go out on a ride, grab one thing, and have all the general things you need for a repair. 
So that's it for the likes. Let's move on to the dislikes because there are actually kind of a few. So I'm gonna start off with my biggest dislike, which is kind of a bummer because it was kind of the whole purpose of me wanting to try out that this tool. And that is the quick link uh, removal tool. One up actually has a Vimeo video that shows you how to do it. And I was watching it, you know, a dozen times trying to remove a quick link from two of my bikes. And I just couldn't do it still. Like I, I gave it the, the good honest college try. I don't know if I was doing it wrong or I just have weak fingers or my quick links are particularly tight, but I was not successful in uh, removing a quick link with the tool. So that's kind of a, a, a bit of a bummer because that's what I was really curious about. But everything else is pretty good. That is just like kind of the one, I'd say black eye of this multi-tool. I don't know, maybe I'm just completely doing it wrong. I don't know if anyone else out there has this tool and is successful in removing a quick link, uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong in the comments below. Another dislike, which is gonna be a real barrier for some people is the price. To have this complete system, you're gonna have to definitely drop some coin. Uh, the EDC tool itself, I think retails for about 60 bucks and the pump retails for about 60 bucks. So you're looking at a buck 20 to have this whole kit. So it is expensive, but it is nicely made and it is coming from a small company. So we have to keep that in mind. So that's it for the dislikes. The biggest bummer, at least for me, was the chain link uh, removal tool. I definitely still think uh, something like the clever tire, tire levers that I reviewed in the past are gonna be a way better option. So would I recommend this combination? Um, well, after using it for the last couple weeks, I definitely think it's a awesome combination for day rides. I think it lives up to its name of everyday carry. I think for longer tours where you're gonna be in really remote areas and you're gonna have to do more maintenance on your bike, this toolkit probably isn't robust enough and won't have all the things that you'll really need to do that kind of work. So I would recommend it if you're doing a lot of day rides close to town. I do think it's a great toolkit combination. Uh, if you're a bike commuter or if you're someone that has lots of bikes, and don't have multiple toolkits, but just want one simple package to move from bike to bike, then that's where this uh, EDC toolkit and pump really excel. So what do you guys think? Have you guys used this EDC tool or pump from one up components? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have any other specific questions, leave those in the comments. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Give a like, subscribe, share it, and I'll see you in the next one.